Hey ya, welcome to an overview of the new Jason from part 5, Roy. First of all, let's check out this awesome intro. I think it's one of the best. It's a homage to part 5 with that axe and the chopping log right there. I think they did such a great job. And it actually looks like the frame rate is even quicker for some reason. Anyone else notice this? Or is it just me? Almost looks like it's played on PC. Here you can see he starts in the cabin with six throwing knives already, and then make that eight throwing knives with the two that you can find stuck in the cabin. I think that's a nice addition for this Jason. It's nothing too overpowered, and it's something that a human Jason would use. Here you can see I lay down a trap. He comes with five traps. That's nothing too overpowered in my opinion, or too underpowered. He takes three hits to an unlocked door to break it down, and six hits to a locked door to break it down. Here you can see the kills. I'd say these kills are pretty fantastic. They're actually some of the best in the game, in my opinion. I quite like this one from the trailer, but I'd say my favorite is the one where he slashes the wrists. Here you can take a look at the Pinehurst map. You can see that it's all these different segments of land split up by water that runs through the middle. It's kind of like an inverted version of the Jarvis map, but I actually like it better than the Jarvis map. I'll get into that in another video if you want. Here's just another kill against Chad, because Chad's a dick. Take that, Chad. Yeah. Now let's talk about his ability to move around the map. The morph, shift, and water speed are all average across the board, and I'm okay with that. This is a human being after all. They're not trying to make him so overpowered, like any of the zombie Jasons for example, but his shift is quick but short, and that's okay because it's balanced out by his ability to run. He's one of the quickest Jasons in the game. I found that being chased by him was indeed suspenseful, and here we see that his water speed is best used across short distances of water. It's really good actually. His sense is nothing to write home about, so I'll just show it here used with stock. The stock, though, is very powerful. It lasts long, and it recharges quickly. I think it was used really great on this map in matches that I was playing earlier. People could sneak around in the large houses on this Pinehurst map and really give you the feeling of a creepy stalking Jason. I quite like it, and I really love this Jason. Alright, that's about it for now. I'll probably do a more in-depth review if you guys want it, and maybe about this map too. But that's just my quick and dirty review of the new Roy Jason from Part 5. Also, check out this exit. What a badass. Gotta love that. See ya on the next upload.